Georgia's governor says politicians in Washington are playing with people's lives by delaying action to fund the uh, funding to help Georgia farmers. And governor Brian Kemp called reporter to his office to highlight how desperate farming families are in the southwest part of the state, struck hard by Hurricane Michael last October. It's been six months and they're still waiting for federal help. Fox News' Morris Diggs joins us live from the state capitol with a story. Morris? Well, last evening in Moultrie, the farmers locked hands in prayer to try and appeal for relief that things are going to get better. This afternoon, the governor used the bully pulpit as he called in reporters to demand Congress approve federal, federal relief for the farmers. This is not an empty threat from a red state governor. This is a promise. We will not stand down until Congress stands up for our farmers. Don't forget about Georgia's farmers in the southwestern portion of the state whose crops were wiped out by last October's storm. That is the message from Governor Kemp and Agricultural Commissioner Gary Black, who took their lobbying for a federal disaster relief package public. We need some help down here. The governor is blaming Congress for not recognizing the urgency of $3 billion in losses to the pecan industry, as well as other damages. And the officials say the state has not been standing still while this has been pending. Georgia has put forward $75 million for agricultural loans, benefiting 274 families to this point. I'm confident out of these 274, there are well over 100 of these loans that had they not been made, those farmers will not farm this year. But there is only so much that we can do. We're talking about, you know, $3 billion worth of losses here in the state. Uh, we do not have that kind of money laying around that we can just use until the federal government acts. 